And now for a game I actually watched. Okay, I admit it, I don't have NFL Sunday ticket. I don't have a ton of money lying around, but I watch what I can. And I did get to watch the Denver Broncos t travel to and take on the Buffalo Bills. Um, you know, I've been high on Cutler for a little while now. When he first, when I first heard about, heard about him before the 2006 NFL Draft, I really did not like him. I I kind of felt he was being overhyped by Mel Kiper. I thought he was, you know, just a product of people feeling, feeling sorry for him because he was on a bad team. I thought he was a second rounder, and I didn't get why people were comparing him to Leonard or Young. But then I really got a chance to watch this guy play, and then he went to the Denver Broncos. And then I think to myself, as soon as that went down, this guy is going to be the best quarterback of the big three taken in that draft. And today, he showed flashes of brilliance. He showed some poor decision-making. But in the end, he looked like John Elway to you Broncos fans. Um, well, Travis Henry looked nice and sharp, playing his former team, tearing them up to the tune of 140 yards. I think the player of the day has to be Javon Walker because he was just Superman out there when the Denver needed that, that last-minute field goal. And he was just catching passes everywhere, all over the field, willing his team to um, getting the ball in field goal range. Um, but all around, and you know, that starts with Cutler, who had over 300 yards. He had that one touchdown. Yeah, he had a pick. He's still young. You can tell, inexperienced. If you watched him play, you could. It's not that hard to see that he's just not quite there. But he will be. He's got a load of talent, and he's in a hell of a system. You know, the ending of this game was so damn exciting. Um, I'm sure you've all heard of it by now, but when Denver was running onto the field with a field goal unit, I thought it was over, because after Walker made that last catch at the 25, I was thinking, okay, spike the ball here? No problem, let's win this game. <sighs> not Let's win this game. I'm not a Broncos fan, but I picked Denver, and I like Denver better. I wanted Denver to win. Yeah. So, whatever. But, then I see the field goal unit come on, and I'm thinking, what is this? Spike the ball. Then they're lining up with the field goal, and I just think, there's no way they're going to do this. And then they do. I mean, that was a great ending, and I'm really glad I got that game. Maybe it's a good thing I didn't get New England and New York after all. <laughs> um, I still do not like this Denver run defense. Something is wrong here. They have one of the biggest fat asses of all time in Sam Adams. I know he's not a great player anymore, but he can stuff the run. Things should be better. They let Marshawn Lynch kind of run up and down on him. Um, gave up a little over 100 yards if you count everyone, but Lynch had himself a 90-yard game in his first career NFL start. That said, DJ Williams looking sharp. He's been one of my favorite players in the league ever since he came out of Miami. Um, nine tackles in a sack. And a quick milestone talk here. John Lynch tops 1,000 career tackles today. He had three. That puts him at 101. So, big ups to him. Great career. Maybe he'll make the Hall of Fame. Maybe not. I don't know. One of those tackles was a sack. You know, that's not something he does every day. So, always glad to see those versatile safeties. For Buffalo, great game. You put up a great fight. I don't think he deserved to be in the game. Well... Played tough, so you did deserve to be in the game. But the other side of that is your offense. Your offense was weak. You were able to run the ball reasonably well and were still unable to generate points because of Lossman failing to generate more than 100 yards of passing of passing offense. Um, you know, Lossman just didn't play all that well. Lynch did step up. He's pretty much the only guy on this offense I can give a lot of credit to. <clears throat> but, you know, Lee Evans was completely shut down by Champ Bailey. He had a chance for one big play and was overthrown. Um, you know, I do feel Buffalo was kind of the benefactor of a young quarterback and a strangely erratic field goal kicker who's usually extremely accurate. But Buffalo missed a field goal of their own, so they played well. I give them credit. They're a scrappy young team that's going to stay in a lot of games this year. 
and that Roscoe Parish punt return was insane. One of the best returns I've ever seen. And I mean that in the sense that it was a lot... He, he was doing a lot of the work, not the blocking unit. He deserves a lot of credit for what happened on that play. Um, my heart goes out to Kevin Everett. I know I'm giving my heart out to a lot of people, but when people get hurt, I don't like it. I know it's part of the game, but it really sucks when things like that happen. And Everett, his injury transcends football. He could be paralyzed for the rest of his life. It it was nasty. Um, you know, beyond that in football, for the Buffalo defense, they shut down Denver for most of the game. They were able to get some pressure on Dent on Jay Cutler. They were able to have big plays here and there. Paul Puzlozny with nine tackles. I still think he's going to be the defensive player of the year. Um, the cargo came up with that big sack at the end that ended up meaning nothing, but it's nice to know maybe he won't be a complete bust if you get what I'm trying to say. Um, so, that's about all i got to say here. Once again, I give my credit to Buffalo. They played well against a superior team. In Denver, you almost let that opening day curse bite you, but you didn't. So, I give you guys credit. You found a way to fight through it. So, now that I've seen them in action in a serious game, I do not know what to expect out of Denver. You know, I don't have any particular, particularly great insight about this game, other than the fact that I think the Denver run scheme, you know, the one that can turn anybody into a thousand-yard rusher or a pro bowler, I think that is almost dead. That run, that run-blocking unit, the offensive line, has almost completely migrated to either the retirement home or other teams. Um, I think they need to bring some new talent in there, because. Uh, I saw Travis Henry get dropped for quite a few losses today. He made up for it with big plays. That's not what the Denver running system is about. Um, I don't know what it is, but it's not the same system that turned Mike Anderson into a thousand-yard rusher. So something's got to change there. So, and I'm calling them out. I'm calling um, the Denver run defense out because that pass defense really is something special. But. Um, Nice comeback, Denver. I think I'll see you guys in the playoffs. Well, you know, you know what I mean. <laughs>